Sorry, repeat it again. And with the help of music, he believed a perfect society can be created. harmonic fifth harmonic fourth harmonic third harmonic second harmonic there is a musical theory pythagorean musical theory is there so if you go and read pythagoras you will see a lot of musical theories very interesting musical theories of the ancient times comes from pythagoras because their community used to practice music so it was so very important for them to develop musical theories so pythagoras believed that everything in the universe was related to numbers and mathematics given music he believed that all numbers have an important important spiritual and holy significance and that each one carries its own vibration so each number carries its own vibration he saw music the same way that he viewed geometry and mathematics a holy spiritual scientific endeavor so it was not something for entertainment it was a holy spiritual scientific endeavor so with the help of a uh, help, help of music you can create a per perfect society Pythagoras is speaking about musical theory Pythagorean musical theories are there some of the most ancient musical theories come from Pythagoras I am repeating so for him everything was the number the numbers and mathematics the universe was related to everything in the universe was related to numbers and mathematics so he believed that uh, all numbers had an important spiritual and holy significance and that each one carried its own vibration so, so every number, 1, 2, 3, whichever it is, all had its own vibrations. So I repeat it again. Some of the most ancient musical theories we get from Pythagoreans. So they all believed that, because they all believed that, uh, that everything in the universe was related to numbers and mathematics. Every number carried its own vibration. That's how they understood it. Every number carried its own vibration. Okay, so music, the same way that he considered Geometry, mathematics, like it was a holy, spiritual, scientific endeavor. So to learn mathematics is a scientific endeavor. In the same way, to learn music is also a scientific endeavor. To explore the way you explore mathematics, the same way you can also explore music. And with the help of music, he believed a perfect society can be created. With the help of music, because music brings harmony. If you if you record our Navaratri. We all come from many different areas. Even uh, uh, my body is not good enough to dance. Very, very stiff. I, I don't have that natural movements. Even then, I come in in the Garba plot. I, I, I dance. I, I dance around the uh, music because there is drum beats. There is music. So according to the according to the rhythm of that music, we all of us move together. Gradually, we get in harmony. Even if it's such a big crowd. Uh, there is no uh, confusion there, there is no chaos there. We all go in harmony. So, music is capable of bringing in uh, or building up a perfect society. Cultivation of music was something very important for them. So, there are so many other musical theories uh, which they are bringing. This, these are some illustrations. And this is all Pythagoras experimenting and playing some musical instruments. You will read there Pythagoras, Pythagora, it's all Pythagoreans from Pythagorean school. So, so they develop, if you look at the cups, they are all numbered. There is some kind of relation with the number which that cup represents and the rod it makes. There are bells, again with numbers. So, a particular rod, if a bell produces a particular tone, it is given a specific number. There is a relation between that tone and the size and there is a uh, relation is explained by by the uh, variable of that number so there are a lot of musical theories which come from them and he believed it is never for entertainment purpose it is not for the sake of entertainment it was a holy pursuit it is it is a means to our salvation it, it, it is something to build up the society it, is, it was not just for fun it was something very serious music so if you look at this again i don't know how to read this I just copied it from internet just to show you. So there is some kind of numerical relation, the frequency, tone, interval, heart means 
sixth harmonic, fifth harmonic, fourth harmonic, third harmonic, all with them. This is modern. What what they currently use? How they are currently represent the musical notations? Are you able to understand how that relation comes between tone, size, length? These are all related. Even today we explain numbers, and this was discovered by Pythagoras long ago. I have taken this uh, image from internet, and this is uh, this is how they represent the modern in the modern times how they represent the musical notations. So again, you will see numbers there, frequency, tone, uh, interval, first octave, second octave, perfect fifth. It's all numbers. Or, or if you look at the wave image of the harmonic series, sixth harmonic, fifth harmonic, fourth harmonic, third harmonic, second harmonic. If somebody is a musician, you will understand this. Even today, they, they express or, or try to interpret it by means of numbers. A modern way of explaining it. But this is how Pythagoras explained it. In 5th century, 6th century BC, so there are so many musical theories from him, and even today, much of them are very valid. Uh, so that, that these are the reasons why we consider him the first aesthetician. He was very different from other philosophers who are more concerned about how things originated or how things are constituted. What is the substance with everything? Is, substance with which everything is made of. But in case of Pythagoras, he was after the harmony, the order. the regularity that we see in the universe